Hey guys, something a little bit different for you today, not only a different setting, but also something quite fun and interesting that I hope pretty much everybody out there can get almost for free. All you need is a laptop and an audio interface. I'm using my Focusrite 2i2, which is a really reasonably priced interface and I'm just using the free version of Amplitude software. And today, I'm gonna see how close I can get <laughs> to the Eddie Van Halen sound coming right up. Yeah, so this could be really tricky because as you know, Edward was really, really secretive about his tone and everybody tries to get the brown sound. And yet I think we can get something relatively close using just the free version, the CS version, I think it is. Yeah, CS version of Amplitude 5. So let's go over and have a look. Let's see what we've got here. So. Amplitude 5, this is the free version and it comes bundled with quite a few bits and pieces. So all you need is a laptop or a desktop PC as I have here and you can get hold of this software. Free, there you go, free download. And this has got over 400 gear models available to demo and purchase. To start, you'll get 41 iconic must-have pedals, amps, cabinets, mic, and racks effects. They're yours free forever to use standalone or as a plug-in to your favorite recording software. You can then go and download a load of these other bits and pieces. But today, we're gonna to focus on the free stuff. And let's see what we get for free. So going over to the gear page, what's inside? We've got 10 stomp box models, a seven band graphic EQ, a chorus, compressor delay, diode overdrive, blah, blah, blah. The thing that we're gonna concentrate on today is Eddie sound. And the great thing is they've got the British lead tube one. And I think that's what we're gonna use. And also the vintage closed cabinet 4x12. So long as we've got those and also a graphic EQ and some sort of reverb, we've got a digital reverb there, I think we should be able to make a really really nice tone. So we're going to dive straight in to Amplitude and it opens up to Brit 800 but what we're going to choose is we're going to, this is just slightly off screen, but I'm gonna go over to the British Tube lead number one, and there is that amp. We're not gonna use a reverb on it, but we know that Eddie pretty much cranked everything. So I'm gonna crank everything except for the gain, which I'm gonna put up at about 7.2, simply because this is not a plexi. And a plexi amp, which is what Eddie Van Halen used, this doesn't have quite as much gain as this British Tube lead, which as you can see is based around a JCM 800 style amp. So I'm just backing off the gain just a little bit. Now, one of the first things that we uh, need to get in here is an EQ pedal and at the front end and we saw earlier from Amplitude that we get the seven band graphic. So I'm going to throw that in front of the amp like that and Eddie used to use what he called the frown. So I'm going to create a frown. So this is like an upside down mouth. Okay and where you can probably hear that uh, just creeping in a little bit of audio hiss there. But this is basically the EQ curve that I'm going to use through this British Tube Lead 100. Now, one of the other things that Eddie was renowned for, let's have a look, was using two cabs in the studio. 
So we're going to use two of the exactly the same cabs in amplitude. Uh, at the moment we have got the classic closed vintage and we want another one of those classic closed vintage. So again, this is just off the screen that you can't see, but there we go, classic closed vintage. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to move the microphone around. Let's have a little listen and see how how this actual setup sounds. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I think that's starting to sound just a little bit eddy already. Let's go and tweak it a little bit. So what I want to do is I just want to move. Okay, so what I've done there, just to let you know, is I've slightly changed the position on the second speaker. So the very first speaker has still got the mics right in the middle of the cab, but to get a little bit of bass tone in there, I've just moved those very slightly further apart, which actually gives us a much more a defined and um, well, I suppose a bit more of a range on the bass end, particularly as we have scooped out quite a bit of the bass here. In fact, actually we haven't, we've just pushed the middle. Uh, listen to the difference between pushing it. And the EQ on. As you can see, that has definitely got the Eddy style tone. Now, one of the things that you'll notice uh, if I go back over and show you this is that Eddy did use a Echoplex and that generally was in his signal path. But also, I think the Eddy sound is really much improved by using a bit of reverb. Now we know that we have got a reverb in here. We are allowed to use, let's just go back over and check. We're allowed to use the digital reverb. And I'm not gonna mess around with that. I'm just gonna stick that into the back end. Let's find that reverb where is it digital reverb and i'm just going to stick that right in the back end and we'll have a listen i'm not going to tweak maybe just tweak the level down just a touch so it doesn't overload the output and let's give that a try shall we okay here we go <laughs> about you but I really think that that tone has got a very very typical eddy tone to it Thank you. 
So I don't know what you think, but I think it sounds pretty close. Obviously, <clears throat> we're not going to get absolutely the Van Halen tone from any of the albums with just some free software. But I think you'll agree, you can get pretty close and it's a lot of fun to noodle about with. <laughs> As always, let me know what you think in the comments section down below. Did we get anywhere close to Eddie's tone? Did we get anywhere close to Eddie's sound? And let me know what you think. As always, I really hope that you've enjoyed it. Definitely check out the Focusrite 2i2 and also Amplitude 5 because both are great bits of kit just to chill around and noodle in the studio and come up with your own tones because that is what Eddie did the best. So if you have enjoyed this, maybe pop something in the comments section to let me know what you thought whether you think I've missed something. Obviously we didn't put the phase 90 or the flanger or anything like that in there because let's face it, we're working with the free version. and I just wanted to use just the equipment that's available to us in the free version because then it's free to all of you. So I'll maybe make this preset available in the, in the description links down below if I can work out how to do that. Um, but otherwise, yeah, I'd just be really interested to hear what your thoughts are. What would you like me to try and do with the free Amplitude next, if you have enjoyed this? As always, don't forget to do all the things that the algorithm likes. Pop a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet and you'd like to see more of this sort of content, click that subscribe button. And if you do 
also click the um, bell icon because YouTube are pretty funny about notifying people if you haven't got that notifications on. I'll be back with the very best content that I can just as soon as I can. But if you've got this far in the video, just drop me an EVH was the best in the comment section down below and then I know you've got this far. I'd also like to say a huge thank you to all of my patrons who through their support allow me to continue making content like this. Thanks so much guys, that's really really appreciated. So I'm going to toddle off and make some more content and make some more noise with Amplitude now. But in the meantime, until I see you again, you take good care.